through the making of art, we find our differences as well as our commonalities. And I really felt that the arts are the way to connect people to people. And that started this collaboration years ago. In the beginning, I was not sure how we would all meet, where would our languages meet together. We have found a common ground. And sometimes we don't connect, and that's okay too. The great thing is that we've got these incredible artists who've been willing to come from different parts of Australia, uh, many of them have never traveled before outside of Australia. So this is the first time they've crossed the ocean and they've come to India. And upon reaching here and feeling like for the first time they're in a space where they look like everyone else. So this has been really wonderful to see how much they feel at home. We've discovered working on this that a lot of the stories, the words, what the words mean, we actually have the same words and stories just told differently or pronounced a little bit differently. We can see the Indian heritage in Australia. When we were up in um, Orville, we went to a show there and there was a young girl there that was using a bull roarer. And I could hear the sound and it, was, it just takes me home because it's an ancient Aboriginal artifact. And when she was standing on the stage, all the way over here in India, and she was using the bull roar too. And it was like, oh! And it was just that another connection. It just pops up. They've been popping up all over the place. I think this is very new, especially for my mob, my people, where I come from. I think I'm the only person that in my community, in the Yolongo community, far northeast of Arnhem Land in the Northern Territory to actually come over here and collaborate with Indian women um, to get a message across of our waterways. And I think this is very, very different from my culture. I feel really honoured and proud that I can showcase not only my culture, but intertwine with Indian culture. And we find that we have very similar uh, stories about water and issues about water. And I feel that it's very important and Turning Waters has been a really, really great platform to showcase and promote the care of the earth and water. Turning Water is a Mahabharata me padicha oru feeling irundhathu. Enna ella vishayamo pudume ellame vyathasama irundhathu. Nariya kattukka vishayangalum irundhathu. Adha thavirthu indha program vande namba audience kitta konnu poittu kaatra maadhiri illa. Audience nambale vande kootittu poittu performance panna maadhiri oru feeling irundhathu. Adhu romba vyathasama pudumeya irundhathu. Adha thavirthu enak enna na கூத்தும் பரதநாட்டியம் கலந்து ரொம்ப நாள் ஆச்சு ஏன்னா அது வந்து நார்மலாக பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க இப்போ நிறைய பேர் ஆனால் கூத்து பரதநாட்டியம் ஆஸ்திரேலியனோட கல்ச்சர் அவங்களுடைய கதைகள் கலந்தது இதை தான் முதல் ப்ராஜெக்டாக இருக்கும் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸாக இருக்கும்னு நான் நம்புகிறேன் வி டிசைட் டு கம்பைன் அவர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஆஃப் தி ஏர்த் அண்ட் ஹவு வி வுட் ஆனர் தி ஏர்த் இன் சிமிலர் வேஸ் அண்ட் டு ஆல்வேஸ் திங்க் அபவுட் த லார்ஜர் கொஸ்டின் அபவுட் த பிளானட் இட்ஸ் அ ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் பொல்யூஷன் அண்ட் தி ஓன்லி பிளானட் தட் வி ஹாவ் டு லிவ் ஆன் இஸ் திஸ் ஒன் is a story that affects everybody on the planet. And one of the things that the elders from where I come from, they tell me that if we look after the country, the country will look after us. So we're looking at ourselves, not just in relation to other people, but it's also other species, to not consider and privilege ourselves above others. And I think that's the message around our water futures, if we're going to have it, that I think this project strives to achieve. When Priya introduced me to Vicky, we went to the museum where I could uh, hear the, the sounds of indigenous people, which were, uh, you know, similar to our uh, uh, Samaveda hymns. So that triggered, you know, that, that was a triggering point for me to uh, uh, compose a song which could match their sound system. Um, so I started composing few uh, compositions for that collaborative effort, which was uh, Serpent Dreaming. And then uh, this project, if you ask me, this is a little more, uh, you know, more people in this, involved in this, and three different uh, uh, indigenous communities, and also the 
the Kutha artist. So it was a bit challenging to find a, you know, a, a line of a thing that, that can match with every other community and the art form. So I was able to compose quite a few songs that can suit the, the current theme. Uh, I'm happy with the, you know, the, the presentation and uh, the how it has emerged and taken a good shape to convey a message to the audience. The way we tell stories and the way the aboriginals in Australia tell stories is very different. And coming from an Indian way of telling story, which, which moves laterally, which moves horizontally, which moves in all directions, circular, etc., and has small kadeers, big kadeers, big stories, etc. And everything is very neatly tied up in our stories. There is a message, uh, there is a beginning, there is a middle, there is an end. So when I was listening to the stories of uh, the aboriginals in Australia, uh, when they were telling the stories like serpent dreaming or the whale dreaming, I said, OK, so then what happens? I always wanted it to proceed in the way I'm used to in, the, in Indian stories. So it took me a while to understand how to, um, how to approach this entire collaboration, how to understand, how to assimilate what I am seeing, what I am hearing. So it has been a very humbling, it has been a huge learning experience because I have learned, literally learned to unthink and learn to take in what I am told and not interpret it the way I'm used to, but try and get into the spirit of how they think. The thing that I learned from this journey is when the people are coming out of their country and out of their shell, this is the first time the Aboriginals, indigenous people are coming to India and how much they have adapted to our, uh, you know, environment, or whatever the people, behavior, everything. So I really learned that from them. And just not that, the warmth that the, the Kutu artists, the people, when we visited the, you know, uh, the village, the genuine smile and their warmth and their welcoming. Uh, we could see the honesty in the, the way they invited us. So that was really amazing. My first time overseas ever, and I've come to India, which has been wonderful. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time here. So it has been a fabulous experience. It has taught me not to take anything or anybody for granted. It is a reiteration that what we know is just that much. There is so much more in this world that we need to learn. So as an artist, I've really gained a lot of international experience and I've able to understand from the small villages to the big cities, the importance of water. And it was a real honor to be able to showcase my own knowledge on Indigenous, um, our dream time stories. And it's just been really powerful and I'm really grateful for the opportunity. Now and then the program on the drums was the grand first time on the or ideal on the on the next in the program on the mother on put in the day and I love Bardana team or can not team is your good day. I will ask you to move the program on the day. I'm interesting on the day on the day. I'm not a lama and the program not in the day. I still lay I still in an article under the energy community day. And then Artuma Calibrilla Castavar and the Tanji Munjay. Promise on the Shana Prom Pandade, Roman and Rivanaka. Nan one in the team loan, but then Armon was here on the program Ganane. In the program Pandatale, Rombos on the Shmarke, Nang one the Kutudan, the Adam, Puli Dadum Kudde, Idurinang Andale, and then I end the program mentioned when you put a Zuna, Jan Pani Arn de Lang Edurion, the Mul Murilla on the Nanga, Padana Tim, Carnatic Music. Apapun asli ni, orang orang tu yang tu program puni itu kan, itu panas itu orang tu rambo sangat asyik makan ke. Ibu lalu orang tu kat sini tu nampak dia nak kunci pormi pormi yang dia buat orang tu kat sini tu kan, pada jain pun tu kan, orang tu pormi yang dia buat orang tu orang tu nak kat sini tu nampak program tu orang tu. Inda program, orang orang drama tu lalu nampak dia nak rambo sangat asyik pada pormi yang dia buat. Yang na berong katet kuto lalu drama apa pada orang audience muna di ibu pudu me yang orang orang naga pada tu lalu. Yang jeneng leh kerja sendosha, awal lor dia kait tertel mulai ma, yang lek kelar kumeh kari sibe, alor romba perma padre. Yang na, modal katet kute pen abdin ratah nala ta, inda wipe yang krama makal kekari sibe lana, na romba nambi kaya order kerja.
definitely I am going to take back a story a story that is based on contemporary but also tradition it's part of history that all of this came together because of history that was made history by early colonization and that it's still here and we want to perform in a way that hopefully will get that message across to audience. I think I have had a lovely time, uh, culture exchange, and this means important to me. Everybody has put in something of theirs so that everybody owns it and it's a collective feeling of togetherness and friendships have been made and it's really about those relationships between women that has become very important to the project more than say other intercultural projects that value the product we are very much interested in the process and although we have to create products along the way uh, this project is already like you know two years old more than that and it keeps growing and growing I still find myself quite in disbelief that it's actually happened because it's taken so much effort and energy to make it work and so many challenges I really did not think this day would come but I'm very very grateful for all the sponsors the partners who helped make it happen on the larger level the High Commission in Delhi the Australian High Commission the um, uh, Creative Victoria who had faith in us who promoted this to all the partners here that Shreya helped organize without all of this work I don't think we could have done it and I still think we have a long way to go and hopefully this will be the start of something big and people will actually acknowledge that you can be contemporary, do contemporary art, but yet keep your own style. And although it all comes together in really interesting ways, there are also jarring moments where it doesn't and that's the beauty of it.